Servus und Welcome to Flo's German Math Class. Um, I know it's hard to believe, but I've made a mistake. In my video about liver cast Bavarian meatloaf, I was referring to the German Nitritpökelsalz, one of the shortest German words that exists, um, as curing salt. Now, what you have to know is that German Nitritpökelsalz contains 1.4 to uh, 0.5% of sodium. Oh, 0.4 to 0.5% of sodium nitride. Um, what I've learned is that in the US you've got Prague powder that contains, for example, 2.5 up to uh, 6.25% of sodium nitride. So if you take the 25 grams that I've suggested in my video for one kilo of minced pork, that would equal 0.125 grams of sodium nitrite. If you take a Prague powder with 2.5% of uh, sodium nitrite, that will be five times more than that, which is not healthy. If you take uh, Prague powder that got 6.25% of sodium nitride, that 25 grams would equal 1.562 grams, which is about 13 times of what you need. Now, if you've got a Prague powder with 6.25%, what you do is take these 25 grams, divide them by 13, which is about 2 grams. So what you have to know is that when I'm referring to curing salt in the video, I'm referring to the German Nitritpökelsalz with 0.4 to 0.5% of sodium nitrite. If you're using any kind of curing salt that's different from the German Nitritpökelsalz, do the math and make sure that you use the amount that equals those 0.125 grams per kilo of mincemeat and you'll be fine. Now enjoy the video about liver cars. Cheers on liver cars. Cheers on math. Ah, wunderbar. Servus and welcome to Flo's German Kitchen. I am Flo, this is my kitchen and I show you how to cook the German way. Today it's Leberkass 101. Leberkass is one of the most favorite snacks in southern Germany. In Bavaria it's Leberkass. In the southwest, Swabia and all that, it is called Fleischkäse, but it's pretty much the same. And if you think Leberkäse, I understand a bit of German, so what kind of a strange thing is that? No, although it sounds like it, it does not contain any liver and it does not contain any cheese. What it contains instead, and this is the really the most simple way of preparing Leberkäse, it's got minced pork, it's got ice, it's got starch and a mixture of spices that I will explain later. And of course, what you need for a Leberkass is a nice little zip of German beer. Ah, wunderbar. Today, actually, I'm gonna do two different kinds of Leberkass. One is the really quick and dirty one and the other one needs a bit of preparation. Uh, why I'm doing this is uh, if you have eaten Leberkass in Germany, it most probably has been of a nice, let's say, 
pinkish color. If you do it the quick way, it's not going to be pink. It's more going to be a kind of gray. If you want the pink version, you have to plan a bit ahead, like one or two days, because for the reddening process of the meat, you have to mix it with nitrate curin salt. Um, that's 25 grams of uh, curing salt per one kilogram of meat. First thing you do is you put the meat and this is slightly frozen. Uh, temperature is a very important thing if you making sausage, if you're making liver cars, uh, temperature is really important because if it goes above 12 degrees centigrade, that's around uh, 53 Fahrenheit, the binding, the, the emulsification of the fat and the water in the liver cars, uh, it will get interrupted and destroyed and you will not have that, that juicy consistency. That's also one thing why I don't just add water, but I actually take those ice cubes. We start first with adding the spices to the meat. So this is 25 gram of the curing salt. This is two teaspoons of allspice, one teaspoon of nutmeg. Yes, it's really nutmeg, I swear. And two teaspoons of pepper. In the beginning, I don't use that at full speed because if it's full speed, it will just leave some unchopped meat on the top and on the bottom it's gonna, gonna be uh, a very fine, creamy mixture. So, this is the first mix. I'm gonna take that ice and put it into the ice crusher. And for the binding I uh, add the starch and also I have added a teaspoon of baking soda. The one thing that's important, check your baking soda if it contains uh, disodium diphosphate. Um, that's the important thing for a really good emulsification. I'm gonna mix that. And I start adding the ice. When you see that this doesn't look like uh, minced meat anymore or ground meat, um, but it starts looking like a more creamy, smooth, dough like substance you're perfectly on the right way and you can increase the speed of the food processor and just continue adding the ice I'm just going to check the temperature. Oh yeah, that's that's just one degree Celsius. That is perfectly all right. So I'll just continue mixing and chopping. If you don't have an ice crusher at hand, don't worry. What you can either do is, in preparation, prepare the crushed ice in your food processor or what you can also do, some people, uh, they just add the ice cubes. It's gonna take you a bit longer for them to completely uh, dissolve and, and blend into the mixture, but that works fine as well.
and there is two things um, about the the time you actually mix it uh, the one thing is the the smoother you want the dough to be the finer the the creamier the longer you have to chop it some people like if the labor car still has a little little meaty pieces I don't like that I want it really plain and soft so I mix it a bit longer and also of course mixing heats up the dough and you always have to observe the temperature although this is really far away it's got still uh, one celsius so it's far away from the dangerous 12 and I can really give it a bit more of mixing time as you can see with all the moving and shaking of the machine it's really doing hard work but for that it is relatively silent and also for a small machine like that it's getting along very very well if you want to buy a machine like that and if you want to support my channel click on the affiliate links uh, buy the machine at amazon and i'll get a bit commission so doesn't that look creamy almost a bit like Italian ice cream <laughs> that's lovely 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 so the next thing I do is I pour it in a cake pan what you want to do is avoid having bubbles in your fry pan so once in a while stump it a bit so that the frying settles If you don't have a silicone fry pan like I do right now, uh, what you do is you have to add fat so that the liver cast doesn't stick to the pan and you don't manage to get it off the pan after it's baked. So, and one last thing to finish, you get to, uh, your hands really wet. and just spread it evenly so that it's got a smooth and nice surface um, it's not at all a problem if there is a slight film of water on top of that that supports to shape a good crust so really keep your hands wet and treat the liver cast nice and gentle before i put that one in the oven i take my loaf of pre-cured meat i've mixed that one with the curing salt already two days in advance and the rest of the process is exactly the same as with this one so you don't have to watch it so here we are we got two nice pieces of liver cars i found out that my baking pan for the pre-cured liver cars is a bit too small so i made an experiment i poured the leftover uh, frying on top of the one we made right now and so in the end we can see when i cut a slice off we can see directly what the difference in color is. The oven is preheated already to 140 Celsius. This is gonna take about 70 minutes. I'm aiming for 80 degrees core temperature. I'll start with this one. Uh, I will put that one in the oven about 15 to 20 minutes later as it's smaller and needs less baking time and 
I hope we'll manage to have them finished at the same time. So let's go to the oven. So now it's waiting. I get myself another beer, wait for the time to pass and see you in 70 minutes. Due to the size of the Libercars, it took a bit more than one and a half hours to really get to the core temperature of 70 degrees earlier. I said 80, that was a mistake. Uh, but now let's see what we have. So here we have the wonderful Libercars. As you can see, it really rose up from its pans. I'll put that one aside and we'll focus on the Leber cars with the two different kinds of frying. That should get out of the pan easily. It's a silicone thing. It won't stick. Yes, I'm right. You can see the juices are dripping out. It's definitely not a dry thing. Now let's see. what it looks like. So as you can see the lower side of the liver cars is a bit more grey brownish. The upper side is a bit brighter and a bit pink and that is the pre-cured side so if you like that color more uh, just pre-cure it a day or two before you do the liver cars. From taste it is supposed to be exactly the same and now I'm gonna check on that. Mm. This is just great. I want to have some more but before that I show you how we serve it. Usually we don't eat our liver cast straight from the chopping board. We can serve it in different ways. One is to serve it on a plate with a good German potato salad. Uh, if you want to know how to make a German potato salad just have a look at that video. The other option is if you remember Stramme Max I just uh, had that two weeks ago and if you replace the ham in the Stramme Max with a slice of pan fried leverkass it's a wonderful and rich meal that you can have as a quick snack. Uh, if you want to know how to make Stramme Max, also video link is just right above. Now let's go to the most common thing. It's the Leberkass Semi. It's Leberkass on a Semi, a roll. And that's what I'm going to do now. If I do a Leberkass Semi, I like the slices a bit thicker so here we have it the liver casemi um, you can put different spreads on it uh, a lot of people in Bavaria like to put a sweet mustard on their liver casemi I prefer the hot one so that's what I'm gonna add now And here we have it, the liver casemi, the Bavarian burger. How oh, doesn't that look wonderful? I need to bite off now. Mmm. <laughs> Guys, there is no question why the liver casemi is one of the most favorite snacks in the south of Germany. It is just so tasty, it is juicy, you got a crunchy roll on it, a bit hot mustard. It's great. I love it and you will love it if you try that at home. So make your own Leberkass, celebrate your Leberkass, enjoy your home cooking and cheers on Leberkass. Wunderbar.